In E3 2016, I saw this game for the first time and I was sold. Talk about a game that went from zero to hundreds real quick. The promo video couldn't have done it better because immediately I wanted to know more about this mystery game. Then July 2016 hit, early access was granted for pre-ordering players, but it's 2018 now with no one even mentioning this game. So why the hype back in 2016, along with early access for nearly two years? First, let's talk about the developer Compulsion Games. Compulsion was founded by Guillaume Provost, who previously worked for Arcane Studios with Dishonored. Since the founding of Compulsion, two games have been created, Contrast and We Happy Few. Now, Contrast never broke higher than 65 on Metacritic with some slightly above average reviews from users. Being the first real release, though, I would actually count that as a success. Now, moving to We Happy Few. Imagine the world going to complete shit after World War II. Society is caving in on themselves. Actually, the only way to face reality is just to get high. And I'm not talking a little puffy puff high. I'm talking hallucinogenic high that would quite literally alter reality for you. Now, imagine your totalitarian government requiring everyone to stay super high. Sounds like a good time, huh? Turns out there are some pretty bad side effects of these hard drugs known as joy. Who would have thunk? Creepy, happy faces, bad diet plans, and a lack of morality to start with. And under this government, if you even thought about sobering up, you were called a downer and dealt with immediately. So long story short, your objective is to survive while figuring out what the hell is going on. Sounds cool, right? Actually, the narrative made me pre-order the game. And I was actually really psyched to see what this was going to be in early access. Yeah, to this day, I'm still a sucker. I have got to stop pre-ordering $60 games, man. Because the next thing I knew, we didn't see a release in fall of 2016. Then early to mid-2017 rolled around and not Jack. Now, early 2018, we're being told that sometime in the middle of this year, we could be looking at a release. So I took to Steam's forums. I wanted to gain a little insight into everything, and man, did I see a shit show now. The price for the game was originally 30 or somewhere around that area. I, I even forgot what the price was, but halfway through the early release, it was bumped to 60. Now, Steam Forums is the wrong place to hash this shit out. Despite the devs offering reasons to why they increased the price, the fact that an early access indie game cost $60 as well as a $20 season pass was a terrible taste to swallow. It was also the deciding factor for many to just flat out walk away from the game. Now, considering that you would think that the game being delayed for nearly two years, it would be nearly perfect. But the other day, I decided to do a brief playthrough and just start completely over again. The way the game begins, it feels like it would be a single player linear story game, though, which is fine. I love that. It almost has a, a Bioshock feel to it. But the game takes a twist and throws you to the streets to push this open environment onto you. The quests that are given seem like something out of an MMO on the lines of more or less task completion rather than quests that aids the storyline. What's more is that this playthrough seems identical to the very first time I played it during its initial early access. The only difference I took real note of was the user interface changes and the overall better inventory and quest tabs, which I'm happy to say are huge improvements, but with that, the main game itself is going to have to do more. You see, survival games themselves have a scaling practice to them. The way you win in survival games, especially open world survival games, is you become self-sufficient. This game showed no indication of that ever being the case. It felt like an early access game that had the qualities of a story-driven, single-player survival game, but only willing to really just dip a toe into each one of those genres. With the price increase that came in 2017, Along with the game remaining in early access for so long, I fear that this game will never regain the traction that it once had with the gaming community. I don't want to draw attention to any negative connotations, especially if the game turns out to be amazing, but the business practices surrounding the early and future release of this game were not tactically made and reflects that the developers really didn't have a concise understanding of what they wanted this game to be. So this is my rundown on We Happy Few, and I, I guess I'm going to name this series of What the Hell Happened. <laughs> I mean, that's about the best way I can I can name it, dude. And there's going to be some other games uh, that we'll probably talk about. But 
It really is a question I had to ask about this one. Well, fellas, thank you so much for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.